Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about chapter four, a shortcut to mushrooms. So Frodo and his friends have just left the company of Gildor and Glorian and the elves of Woodhall. They had a lovely rest there. It was a nice uh, relief from the kind of game of chase that they had been playing with the Black Rider or riders. With, we're not sure yet uh, if there's plural. And now they're on their merry way to continue um, to Butland. So Frodo gets the grand idea, well, we need to probably stay off the road, so let's kind of cut through the thicket here. And uh, that obviously causes problems. Pippin says it quite elo eloquently that uh, shortcuts lead to long delays, and that's pretty much exactly what happens. So we see more of the Black Rider, which is very spooky. I don't know if any of you all have played the... PC Lord of the Rings game from many moons ago. Uh, I remember only making it to this part of the story in that game because I was too scared of the Black Riders. I don't like, I don't like stealth games. I don't like being chased. And this, that's, that's all we're doing here in this chapter for the most part is we are, uh, you know, kind of trying to escape the pursuit of these Black Riders. Now, along the way, we get a conversation between Frodo and Sam that. I really liked and felt, you know, kind of like a very solemn moment in an otherwise, you know, kind of fast moving chapter. And that is that Frodo kind of as a little bit of a jab says to Sam, you know, hey, all you really wanted to do on this journey was see the elves. And what do you know, you've already seen them. Do you still want to go on the journey? You know, hardy har. Um, and Sam is like surprisingly stoic suddenly. He, he he's, he's suddenly, you know, really thought, thoughtful and um, has been, you know, actually putting some time into the idea. And he basically says that he doesn't feel anymore like it's his, you know, that he's in any position to judge whether he likes them or not, that this is, this is bigger than him. And he also recognized that despite having met the kind of superficial goal of encountering elves and getting to know them, uh, he still feels like he needs to be on this journey with Frodo. He still feels like there is a bigger purpose at play here. There's a lot of this kind of foreshadowing through, I think, all of these chapters, and you're going to continue to see this as we go on. But there are these little quiet moments where we kind of start to feel the gravity of what's actually going on. We we get bits and pieces of how serious the situation is and that these guys aren't just you know, running an errand for Gandalf. So um, that what I thought just was a very beautiful moment. And then we make it to um, the Maggot Farm, which is not a farm of maggots. It's just that his last name is Maggot. Anyway, we get a little bit of background from Frodo that he's like mortified of this guy because he used to beat him when he was a little kid for stealing produce from, from the fields. So um we're kind of on edge a little bit about, oh, oh gosh, you know, we don't have good feelings about this character. But Pippin assures him, oh, no, 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 this guy's, this guy's uh, good people. And so uh, we find out that's absolutely the case. And he was more than hospitable. Um, they prepare them a meal. And we come to find out that Farmer Maggot has encountered the Black Rider and basically told him to F off. Like, I was like, get out of here. I'm not playing games. Like, I'm not telling you where any of the Bagginses are. Just get out of Dodge. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool to see that kind of firmness from an otherwise kind of unassuming character. And then Farmer Maggot is uh, very gracious and offers them a ride to Buckleberry Ferry so they can kind of stay on the DL from from the pursuing rider. And uh, let me see, but I'm pretty sure like that's pretty much where we end up as we, we make it to Buffleberry Ferry. And of course he gets a basket of mushrooms out of the deal, which is not a bad, not a bad exchange at, at all. Um, so yeah, that's the summary of chapter four, Shortcut to Mushrooms. Um, basically we've progressed a little farther across the Shire and we are now about to enter Breland. More to come. Have a good one.